welcome, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> to the Science Wall broadcast. This is called a power pack message. A power pack message. This is a message that will not go over 15 minutes. Will not go over 15 minutes. Call a power pack. This is a message that we pray and ask God to unpack what the Holy Spirit already packed in our mind. And therefore, this little message entitled, Get Up. Get up. get up ladies and gentlemen this message entitled get up on the 15 minutes this message entitled get up from the science world fruit counts with evangelist Ed baxter may this little message bless your soul in jesus name we pray and may this message go near and far here and abroad to bless people everywhere as the message entitled get up oh lord have mercy Coming to us from the book of St. John's chapter 5. St. John's chapter 5 will be where we'll read our scripture reading from. Only a few verses we'll read, ladies and gentlemen. Praise God, let everything that I've bred. The Bible says, praise him upon the string instrument, praise him upon the timbrel, praise him upon the harp, and praise him upon the organ, whatever is giving God glory. Plus, let everything that I've bred praise the Lord. short message in time called get up the word of god will be reading from the bible hallelujah i pray that this word of god will bless someone as it has been blessing me from day to day the word of god i will read from the book of saint john's chapter 5 reading at verse 5 the word of god said and certain man was there which had an infirmity thirty eight years and when jesus saw him lie and knew that he had been now a long time in that case he said unto him Will thou be made hold? The impotent, the impotent man answered and said, answered him, 
Sir, I have no man when the water is troubled to put me into the pool. But while I am coming, another stepped down before me. Jesus said unto him, Rise, take up thy bed and walk. And immediately the man was made whole and took up his bed and walked. And on the same day was the Sabbath. And the same day was the Sabbath. The Jews therefore said unto him that was cured, It is the Sabbath. The Jews said to the man that was cured, Is it? It is the Sabbath rather. It is the Sabbath day. It is not lawful for thee to take up thy bed. To carry thy bed rather. The man answered in verse 11 of St. John's chapter 5. He answered and said, He answered them, He that made me whole, the same said unto me, Take up thy bed and walk. Hallelujah. Then asked they him, What man is that which said unto thee, Take up thy bed and walk? Question. And he that was healed wist not who it was, for Jesus had come on, con and Jesus had converted himself, conceived. For Jesus had uh, conceived himself away, a multitude being in that place. In other words, the man couldn't point out who told him to take up his bed and walk because Jesus knew the purpose of the people the purpose of the people was not to lift him up but the purpose of the people was to put him down but this message the point I want to get from this message ladies and gentlemen is the point where the message said take up uh, get up uh, Jesus told the man to get up and then Jesus didn't just told him to get up but he told him to uh, take up his stuff or his bed and go. Uh, what is the point of this message get up? Dear Lord as I'm about to try to share this message Holy Spirit come and unpack what you are packing in my mind. That your people will receive a blessing in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name I pray. And let's jump and get into this real quick now. Only have maybe five minutes left. The message in Tycho, get up. This man was been. This man has been in this place for 38 years. Trying to get well. He explained to Jesus that every time he was coming to step into the pool to get healed, somebody who have two good legs stopped step in front of him. And he did not get the blessing that he was looking for. The Bible said Jesus already knew that he was in this case for a long time. And he said, do you want to be made whole? The man explained to Jesus why he didn't get well and Jesus said okay take up your bed and walk and watch this after being there for 38 years he had this faith to believe in Jesus and he took up his bed and the Bible said he walked. So some of us have been down. Most of us have been down not necessarily because of our fault but because we didn't get a chance. Some of, us, some of us have been down because of our fault, our mistakes. Not all of us have been down because somebody put us down. Sometimes we make the mistakes and that's why we are down. But some of us have been in situations that just hold us down. This man, Jesus told him to get up. And he got up and he told him to pick up his bed. Watch this now, watch this. 
the situation that he was lying in the situation that he was laying down and the situation that was keeping him down jesus told him to get up and pick up that downward situation and bring it up and walk with it what is jesus saying what is this message saying get up there is a situation in our life there is a circumstances that is bothering us there is a situation that is making us sad this is a situation that making us mad and today or tonight jesus is saying i have the power to let you walk and what is keeping you down the same situation that was sent or was meant to stop you to block you god of the power to turn it around like a blessing god has the power to use what was sent to stop and to block and to to become a stumbling block god can use that same thing like a elevator to lift you up and so ladies and gentlemen i don't know your story but I know all of us have something that make us feel sad and sometimes make us feel bad, maybe even feel mad. But I come from the Zion's world broadcast, ladies and gentlemen. Evangelist is back is saying to you in the name of Jesus, as you go on your journey today or tonight or you go to your bed, remember God has the power to let you walk on the situation that is holding you down. Remember, Jesus came to the disciple one day when there was a mighty storm on the, uh, and the ocean and Jesus came walking on the storm. Today, tonight, I'm telling you, God have the power to walk on your storm. He tell the man to take up the stuff that was keeping him down and lift it up, pick it up and go and walk with it. <laughs> you might be next in line. God is saying, don't you give up. Because sometimes you're about to give up and God Almighty was getting ready to fill your cup. You receive this message because God is saying to you, don't give up. Trust me, Jesus. Call on the name of Jesus. The Bible said in 2 Chronicles chapter, uh, right there, you know, chapter 7, 2 Chronicles chapter 14, right? The Bible said that uh, the Bible make it plain if my people which are called by my name shall what humble themselves and pray I will hear from heaven and heal their land ladies and gentlemen God is saying tonight or today whatever your case may be it is not too big for me whatever the sickness may be it is not too big for God whatever the problem may be bring it to Jesus and see get close to God and see what happened I encourage you today to turn over your trials and the trouble to God. Bring it to God and he will make something that is sad turn out to be peace and righteousness. Trust God and do the right. Remember, there is hope in Jesus. Remember, there is deliverance in Jesus. Remember, there is healing in Jesus. And blessed is he who come in the name of the Lord. Bring your case to Jesus. Bring your case to Jesus. And Jesus Christ, God's Son, will make it work out in Jesus' name. This is Evangelist F. Baxter saying, get up, pick it up, lift it up, bring it to Jesus. And he will roll your burdens away and turn your nights into day. And ladies and gentlemen, you can testify and say, when you get closer to Jesus, when you obey the word of God by picking it up and bring it to Jesus, your life was never the same in Jesus' name. You're listening to the Zion's World Broadcast with Evangelist Ed Baxter saying, Get up and come to Jesus. Hallelujah.